guys and welcome back to my channel. I didn't know if I was going to have time to decorate for Halloween this year because of this whole, you know, situation we got going on. But I'm wearing my little pumpkin shirt today and I have a little bit of extra energy so I'm going to try and get some stuff done inside. If you've seen my past decorating videos, they are planned out, they are organized. Today is not going to be that kind of day. I'm just going to go through all of my Halloween decorations and just figure it out. It might be a mix of fall and Halloween, I'm not too sure, but if you want something a little bit more organized, then you can check out my videos from last year. I actually was a little crazy last year. I decorated for fall, took that down, decorated for Halloween, took that down and decorated for Thanksgiving. So last year I decorated three separate times for fall and there's a video for each time. I will link them all up above or in the description below. Today we're just gonna go through these tubs. I have Halloween, Halloween, and fall, and just figure it out. Okay, I definitely did not decorate as much as I did last year. I forgot like the insane amount of Halloween decorations that we actually have. I'll put in a clip here of what the bins look like. It looks like I haven't even touched them, but clearly you just saw me decorate, so. I am really glad that I did decide to decorate because it just feels more like fall, more like Halloween, which it really hadn't felt that way yet, and it's mid-October. I guess I'll quickly walk around and explain what I did. All right, I'm gonna turn off this light just so you don't have like that really weird glare. But this Hocus Pocus sign is from Etsy, and I just printed it poster size at Walgreens. And then everything here is pretty much from the Target dollar spot other than these yoga skeletons, which are just so cute. These are from Michael's last year. I think I saw them in store this year again. And then this is just from the dollar store. Can't go wrong with those. And then on the other side of the living room, I added this sign. I usually use this for fall and not Halloween, but it's from Hobby Lobby. And then I just added these little spider webs and spiders from the Dollar Tree. And then I did add a couple other things around the living room just because I had them and I could. And then we have the foyer table, which is definitely way more simple than last year. Um, these, I believe I got at Michael's, just little black ferns. 
This is the only thing I actually bought this year. I was at Dollar Tree and couldn't pass it up for a dollar. And then of course, gotta have your candy. I always use Reese's like around the house because it's orange. Little orange pumpkin with our little candles which do light up and like flicker. I just have to get new batteries for them and I don't have the right kind. So. So in the dining room, I didn't do too much. The table just has a little garland from Hobby Lobby and a couple candles. And then over here on this canvas, I added our happy Halloween sign and I made the little bat um, decals. They're actually 3D, they're from Amazon. I'll link them. I think they're just super fun and so easy to do. But I was trying to make them look like they were carrying the sign since the strings don't go all the way to the end. So it's definitely not as intricate and crazy as last year, but I hope you guys still enjoyed this video. And the next time you see me, I might be uh, having a baby. So, that's insane. <laughs> I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.